Thursday, February 25th, and it is actually a really lovely day. So this morning when I was getting ready, it was really gray and overcast, and it started raining really light. Last night it rained for like five minutes really light, so I was like, oh, here we go, one of these days. But then you got that, um, so it looks nice. Hopefully, I'm hoping it'll be nice all day. When I was in Hot Springs and checked the weather, they said today... It was going to be decent during the day, but then rain at night. So, and I haven't had any service to see it, um, to see the weather or anything. Matter of fact, I wanted to look at my um, comments about my video, Formidable Bull. Because I know people probably watched that and were like, what the hell? It's just crazy what happened that night. Um, the whole Smokies was crazy. Wait. Hopefully today I'll remember to tell y'all about the Duckman story. I keep meaning to tell people and I forget. Um, but yeah, so I have no plans today. So Sam's Gap is 14 miles, which is not a bad stop, um, and especially if it's raining. And I think there's a Nature's Inn hostel, but I don't think they're, I think they're seasonal. And then last year I stopped at Mother Miriam's, which I liked that one because it was small and I like the couple running it a lot. They were really nice. So, I don't know. I'm just going to wing it today and see what happens. Um, yeah. We'll see what happens. I have no idea what I'm going to do, to be honest. Um, I guess it depends on the weather a lot. I Honestly, I would like to just hike. Because I, if I could hike like 16 miles today, um, I think there's a camp spot. I mean, I'd have to haul water up there and it's steep, but, and then, um, I could do a really long day tomorrow and get into Irwin or just hike, you know, like a 15 or something and then have a really short day into Irwin, take a Nero and then maybe a zero depending on how many videos and stuff I have to, so I have. Including today, I'll have three backed up. Yeah, so I'll have five videos. So I'll have to probably take a day off. That's just the way it is when um, you're doing YouTube videos. Or at least the way I'm doing it. I mean, a lot of times I have no choice. Especially if I get a lot of videos backed up. I just have to take a whole day off. But that's okay. It's part of the, you know, part of it. So yeah, I am going to... Um, I got all my stuff packed up. And the Shelton's were great great host last night um and it was crazy so <laughs> the wind was blowing last night right um and i kept hearing so the trees when they when the limbs rub together they just make these haunting ghost sounds so all night you just hear and just weird sounds so it was a little creepy but i love that i i kind of like that so it was cool yeah well i am babbling must be all that coffee I drank. So I am going to hike northbound and I will get back with y'all. All right.
Hey y'all, so I am going to finally tell the story of the duck man because I know a lot of people were like what's up with this duck man Okay, so first of all the Smokies the Smokies are a weird place every time I've been up there I just get this feeling that I'm not wanted every time So when we got up into the Smokies, you know the first majority of the day this there was snow but not a lot and wasn't bad um so then we woke up the second day and I was hiking and I stepped over a dead bird, which if you know about that, it's not a good thing to do. I wasn't really paying attention. And right when I did it, I even said to someone, I was like, oh, damn. So after that, the, the that day, the snow was pretty bad, but we we're following these trails and you know how people walk with their feet out like a duck? There was these footprints, but they were exaggerated i mean almost like it didn't seem possible to do that without hurting yourself and you could not follow the footprints or the pole host because they had that slant that duck slant and so we started calling them the duck man because it just didn't seem normal so we were following these prints forever and ever and ever and finally we got on top of rocky um rocky top and they they stopped the the prints were gone they just ended and there were no duck prints going back ever, just going forward, northbound. It was almost like whoever walked up to Rocky Top and jumped off or flew off or whatever. All I know is those prints stopped. And from then on out all the way to Newfound Gap, we had to break the trail. So we were, you know, we were making, it was kind of a legend, the duck man and Days were ominous. We're like, the duck man's going to come out of the woods. So we get to the very last shelter, Mount Collins Shelter, right before Newfound Gap. And leading, and it's a 0.4 mile spur trail to the shelter. Right when I get to the shelter, duck feet prints. Those same exaggerated duck feet prints going to the shelter. Now I'm like, what? I, I'm kind of like, this is weird, dude. So I rushed to the shelter because I want to know who this person is. There's a person there. And I start talking to him and he seems really strange. And then he says, I ask him what his name is. And he says, Duck. Like he said it like Duck. And I'm like, and I was like, what? I couldn't believe it. And I go, what did you say your name was? And he looked at me kind of surprised and he says, Dick. And I go, wait a minute, your name is Dick? And he's like, yeah, my name's Dick. So I'm like, duck, dick. It's so weird. And then, so we talked to the guy and he seems normal. We all go to sleep. You can hear noises coming from everyone except for Dick. So I'm on the top and I look down and you can see a mass where Dick is, but nothing's moving. Like there's no breathing. I don't hear nothing coming from Dick. Just noises from everyone else. And everyone makes some noises when they're scooting around or nothing from Dick. Wake up, Dick's still there. He leaves, never see him again. That is the story of the Duck Man. Just one more crazy thing that happened in the Smokies. And it was nuts. It was weird. Dick. I don't know. I don't know. But that's the Duckman store. So I am going to keep on hiking northbound. And I will get back with y'all. All right.
Hey y'all. So I just finished this insane climb. Man, Tennessee has these long, drawn out climbs. Tennessee, North Carolina, wherever I'm, I am. So I uh, looking at the weather and tomorrow it looks like it's gonna be a washout. So I was thinking about getting off at Sam's Gap. So I called Mother Miriam Hostel. They're, they said they're not opening till next month. Then I called Nature's End Hostel and they said they're semi open. And then he's like, um, then he's like, wait, I have a cabin. He's like, wait, no, I don't. He's like, I have people coming in to rent it. So there was no availability there. I don't think he has the whole place open yet. So, um, yeah, man, that's the thing. Starting early. It's just the, a lot of the hostels just aren't open yet. So I guess I am just going to keep on hiking and, um, I will have to deal with the rain tomorrow, but that's okay. No big deal. Um, but it's still nice today and it's not supposed to rain today or tonight. So I think early in the morning it will rain. So yeah, we'll see what happens, but I am going to keep on hiking northbound and I will get back with y'all. All right. Hey y'all, so I was hiking, I was hiking down this, um, I was kind of on the side of a mountain and um, I just put my foot down, it was leaves and my foot just went flying out, it was that slick mud and so when my foot went flying out, I stomped down on my left foot and as soon as I did that, I felt that, I felt this pain just go straight up my knee and it just my leg just turned into jelly and i just went down the side of the mountain <sighs> that the the mud is so it's so aggravating i can't even explain it. it's like it's not, it's just in certain spots and you, there's no way to know and man when <sighs> and then i and then my knee man it's like the the one thing I did not want to happen, and it happened. And man, every time I l push off on it or go down, I mean, I can feel it. It's definitely hurting, and it's definitely that same spot. <sighs> I just, man, I cannot even, I don't know. So I had just got water. I have like two liters Cause I was, I wasn't sure where I was going to camp. So, um, I was just going to hike and hopefully there was this spot. That's another like four miles that I was going to go to that has water, but man, I don't trust it. I just don't want to push it right now with the way my knee is. And, um, yeah, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm not really sure. Like I said, there's, I called, there's not nowhere to get off at Sam's gap. Um, and I'm almost there. So. I think I'm just going to find like the next spot I can tent and just maybe rest um, for the night and see what happens. And um, hopefully it'll feel better in the morning. Um, tomorrow's supposed to be raining and a washout. So it's that's going to suck too. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to record anymore today just because... Just because I can barely even hike right now. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to end the video here. And next spot I find, I'm probably just going to set up my tent 
and ditch out and hope it feels better in the morning. So we will see. And um, if it's tomorrow, if it's raining like crazy, I'm probably not going to record, especially if my knee's hurting. I might just try to make a, a run for Irwin. Um, unless my knee's messed up, then obviously I'm not going to be able to do that. So, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to say right now. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just going to, I'm hoping some rest will make it feel better. I just took like four ibuprofen. So we will see, but yeah, I'm just going to end it here, and um, if the weather is not too bad, I will talk with you all in the morning. If not, I will talk with you all soon. All right.